No, 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 that, that's not soon enough. I need the shipment to arrive this week. I got serious buyers. Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that clicking sound? Is this a secure line? Okay, I'll ask you again. Tell us the secret to your new games, William. It's always secret and I'll never tell. Then what about your healthy food hacks? What can you tell us about those? They're from my subscribers. Their knowledge is strange but vast. Yeah, right. Enjoy Guantanamo, William. What is going on, guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. Like my morning grapefruit, we're all trying to find ways to emulate the real thing, from our favorite foods to other things that we love to eat. Creativity really has no bounds. So today I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in your best low calorie food hacks. I am gonna taste them, review them, and let you guys know which one I thought was my favorite. And the winning dish is gonna get a prize. And it's gonna be a pretty sick prize full of some Teddy merch. So we're gonna head home right now and get cooking. Little to my surprise, the ratio of sweet to savory recipes was a lot like the ideal girl guy college ratio, about 100 to one. Uh, but we did manage to find some savory recipes. So for breakfast today, we are whipping up two recipes. The first one being some jello oats from Thomas. And this one's pretty creative. Like look at all this stuff going on right here. Like, I do not know how people come up with some of these recipes. And then the second one we are making is from Victoria. And that is some zucchini pancakes. You guys know how I feel about zucchini. So we're gonna whip that up right now and do a little bit of a taste test. I mean, this is gonna be probably the most interesting oats I've ever had in my life. It's very complicated to make. Like we got some ground coffee in there, which is always a good sign. We blended up 75 grams of banana with some cashew milk. We got some egg whites in there and then we have gelatin, which is gonna make it a very, very interesting consistency. So this is done just like this. So now we're gonna pop it into the microwave for five to six minutes. Then we toss it into the fridge and while it's in the fridge, we're gonna work with the pancakes. Okay, so it's been six minutes. Just gonna give it a little bit of a mix. And then now we are gonna go pop it into the fridge. And here we have the pancake batter that we are gonna pour into the pan right now. I feel like I did it wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't look quite right. Okay, come on, please. Ooh, looks pretty good. Thomas, if you get beaten by creativity today, I don't know what's going on. Look at this, this is oatmeal, guys. Like what? I'm a little bit skeptical, not gonna lie, but this is not done. So now we gotta smash it up, like so. Looks like dog food here. And this is coming from a guy who has eaten a lot of dog food. You know what I'm saying? And now we're gonna add 100 grams of Greek yogurt. There we go. And we're gonna mash it up again. So that is breakfast number one from Thomas. And now we're gonna plate up the pancakes. Let's go see who wins. Gonna give it a little spank to show off that jiggle. So the calories of this entire dish right here, you are looking at 412 calories, 37 grams of protein, 57 grams of carbs, and four grams of fat. And then this pancake right here is 148 calories, 22 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbs, and zero grams of fat. Uh, I am sensing an interesting construction here. Unfortunately, I have to use my banana. I use that for a different type of life hack. Uh, you wanna try this, Mom? Yeah. This is oatmeal. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't like my oats boring. I like them with a little bit sassy, but this just seems like it's gonna be out of this world. How do people come up with this? I'm How do you come up with this? That's really good. That is good. It tastes like coffee cake. Like visually, this is not something I'd be putting around my mouth on a typical day, but I mean. Oh, you put a lot worse looking things than that in your mouth. That's true, yeah. yeah. What'd you give it out of 10? That's like a nine. It's like a nine? I'm gonna take a point off just because well, you could have prettied it up a bit, maybe. Anyway, I think it's really deliciously tasty. You nailed it, Thomas. Yeah. Good job, Thomas. All right, so that one's gonna be hard to beat. I think that one's gonna be pretty hard to beat. Mm -hmm. So now to the zucchini pancake. So I never thought about putting zucchini in pancake, let alone grating it. Oh, it smells good. It's mm. not as good as that. No. Like this one's like a game-changing experience. This one's a little bit different to me. I feel like I need to have some like yogurt on there. Yeah, she did say to put yogurt on it. Oh. I'm putting this. Cause I don't think you need sweet on top of zucchini. Okay, get out of here. I'm okay, eating this. Okay, sorry. I'm you, wanna, you wanna chat down more? No, <laughs> I'm good. No. <laughs> so overall scores, oh, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. And I'm gonna give this one for what it is. It's actually very, very tasty. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. 
All right, gym clothes are on and we are about to be heading to the gym and we are making the pre-workout shake. And I feel like I'm about to be played here because I feel like this can't possibly be a thing. But Motivation Girl sent me a pre-workout spicy frappuccino. When I think of a spicy frappuccino, I think of a, a white girl getting nutmeg in her Starbucks order. I do not think of something like this. This is more like a, you know, a cucumber margarita. So what we're gonna need is your blender. We're gonna add two to three cups of some water two tablespoons of lime juice, one tablespoon of tahini seasoning. This is where it's getting a little bit weird. There we go. A little bit of stevia. Good. And then a fruity pre-workout of choice. I'm using Blue Star PPK 10 e 10, 10% off. I'm gonna go with one nice scoop. Good. And then the big thing here, the big, big, big thing is one full frozen cucumber. I cannot say this is the first time I've tried this. Uh, still recovering from frostbite where frostbite shouldn't really be. Am I ashamed? Not yet. So we're gonna add the full entire cucumber and we're gonna blend this sucker. One moment. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna add this into the, oh, that's nice. It's a little bit of like a gazpacho soup kind of situation. Looks like goblin blood. Oh wow, damn, I feel like I'm gonna be making some deposits a little bit later if you know what I'm saying. It, it tastes like it's gonna certainly cleanse me. Oh my God, yeah, add some tequila to this, 10 out of 10. All right guys, so we're in the gym right now and to stick with the whole hack theme, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me in your exercise hacks that you have used to get some more muscle growth. So we're gonna hop into an upper body workout right now, try a bunch of them out and see how they are. Okay, so the first exercise we are doing is for the back, and this one's from Rivals Chris. We're gonna do weighted pull-ups, uh, three sets, five to seven reps, and then superset that with a lighter lap pull-down, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. I mean, it sounds pretty good, a heavy compound movement, then you're gonna superset it with an isolation movement, just get a little bit more volume time under tension. So we're gonna hop into this. I have not done weighted pull-ups in ages, so I don't know where my strength's gonna be at, so we're gonna start with 45 pounds and work our way up. Okay, so that was one set done. I really actually really like this because with like the five to seven reps on the pull-ups, you can really focus on the explosive part of the movement. And then this is just complete burnout. So we're gonna do two more sets of that and then probably move on to some shoulders. is real right now. But now we're gonna hop into the shoulder workout from Jay Kozik, 21. It's a lateral raise superset. So we're gonna start off with some heavy laterals with a little bit of a cheat and then we're gonna drop set right away to some lighter, strict lateral raises. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps. In my opinion, if you take the lateral raises seriously, like as serious as your overhead press, that's when you're gonna notice some crazy growth in your shoulders. The minute I started treating my lateral raises as like a main movement, it's like that's when my shoulders completely blew up. I got that half look. So don't just, you know, do them at the end of your workout, really focus on it. Probably was not a good idea to do shoulders before chest, but we're about to hop into a chest finisher. Like this thing is absolutely gonna kill me. So we're starting off with an incline hex press. So I actually have to search that up because I had no idea what that was. But that's essentially when the dumbbells are like close together and you're squeezing your chest. We're gonna do 12 to 15 reps, four sets of that. Super set with some cable flies until absolute failure. And then after that, uh, Pero underscore S said, when you finish a set, squeeze the working muscle as hard as you can for 20 to 30 seconds. Helps with my muscle connection. So hex press, cable fly, squeeze the muscle, four sets. Let's do it. Oh my god. 
And now we squeeze. Okay, that was one set. And that one set feels like the ending of my actual push days. Absolutely insane. Pump is next level. And we still got three sets to go. We're dropping down to 35s for this last set. There's no chance I'm getting 50s against 15. No chance. When you're looking to build muscle, there's two main things you gotta focus on. That is time under tension and progressive overload. So this last exercise we are doing from Hector Caceres, I think that's how you say it, is taking time under tension to a whole other level. Because we are doing some bicep holds. So it's a barbell curl, and at the top of the curl, you're holding it for 10 seconds and four sets of 12. So it's 10, 120 seconds per set, which is absolutely insane. So I can usually barbell curl quite a lot of weight, around like 120 pounds, like pretty, pretty good form. But I'm gonna start with 40 pounds and see how that feels and then work my way up. So when you curl up and you hold it, you don't wanna be holding like this because I could literally hold this all day long. So you wanna hold it a little bit out, just like that. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap up the workout. I am feeling it everywhere right now. So we did four exercises and I am dying. So we're gonna head home right now. I'm super hungry and make a pretty interesting and tasty sounding lunch. For lunch today, we are making some coconut crusted turkey fingers from James. So here I have everything prepared. I have half a cup of sweetened flaked coconut, half a cup of breadcrumbs, and two tablespoons of some sesame seeds. A little bit more calories than my seed, but a lot easier to swallow. And then we have, because I could not find turkey anywhere, I got some just regular chicken strips, eight ounces of that. And then we have egg whites for the third time today, the only context in which white supremacy is acceptable. And mixed along with two teaspoons of some sesame oil, so we're gonna go chicken into the egg, not the first time I've eaten two generations in one sitting. And then we're gonna roll it up in the crumbs and then put it into the air fryer for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna put together a nice sweet and sour kind of pineapple sauce. But we are making the dipping sauce that goes along with the uh, turkey fingers or the chicken fingers. And what's going on in here is half a cup of plum sauce, one third of a cup of pineapple juice. So even James knows that food isn't only about nourishing yourself. And then we have a teaspoon of some cornstarch and then half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of some mustard. It looks delicious, just give it a little taste here. Well, that's good, that's good. We got ourselves a glorious looking post-workout, my friends. So he has this at 292 calories, nine grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs and 31 grams of protein. So we are gonna roll with that. So I'm just gonna sling one of these gingerly down my throat with no sauce because you gotta raw dog it before you decorate it. You gotta uh, respect the meat, you know what I mean? That's juicy, yo. Now with the sauce, here we go. That sauce is distractingly good. Wow, I'm pleased with this. I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of 10. Solid option, high in protein, tasty, very filling. Definitely a good way to have chicken if you're really bored of just grilled chicken breasts. Highly recommend trying this out. Decided to take a little bit of a break from work and have a snack. So for a snack today, we are gonna do a little bit of a brownie showdown. So I made two different brownies from two different followers. So the first one here is from Gabby. It's called the Ridiculous Brownie. And guess the calories of the whole entire thing, guys. I'll give you guys a second. 
Okay, so it's 148 calories for the entire thing. 22 grams of protein, 15 grams of carbs, and zero grams of fat. And the ingredient, the secret ingredient, is Diet Coke, half a cup of Diet Coke. I never thought to put Diet Coke in a brownie before, but it could be amazing. Hopefully, you know, the taste isn't reflective of the calories, because that wouldn't really be a good sign. And the second one we are making, sauce we just made, is from Bryce Davis. And this is called Fudgy Anabolic Brownies. A lot bigger than that one, but the calories for this is 636 calories, 57 grams of protein, 57 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of fat. There is chocolate chips in this one, so I'm gonna call my sister Victoria. Downstairs, we're gonna do a brownie showdown taste test. All right, so joining me here is Victoria. We have both of the brownies plated up, and I mean, I know she's gonna get roasted because you say that you're allergic to chocolate. I'm intolerant to chocolate. Yeah. We're gonna start with this one first. I'm not gonna tell you the calories. So you're gonna actually guess afterwards which one you think is better, first of all, and then which one you think has more calories. So we're gonna start with this one? Sure. All right, so this one is from Bryce Davis. It looks like dry when you first look at yeah, it, it, but, then it, does it look like, but then there's like a lot of moisture, yeah, actually. Yeah, this one's called the fudgy anabolic brownie. Oh. That's really good. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that is really good, it's really rich. I really like it. I'm gonna give this out a 10. Oh, two out of 10. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Eight point five. Okay, not for this bad boy. So this one is from Gabby. Gabby. This one looks more like an a actual brownie. brownie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just like a little hair well. You just send it back? This one's good. This one's way more like, whoa. Damn, that's good. That is like good. Can you taste, what do you think the, what do you think the ingredient is in here? Avocado? No. Oh. Diet Coke. Wait, what? Diet Coke is the main ingredient in this My thing. favorite. Yeah. How did Diet Coke even find its way into a brownie? Like I don't know, but I totally taste that now. Yeah. I love Diet Coke. Like me, it's a happy accident. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the full batch of this one mm -hmm. is 636 calories. Okay, well. The full batch of that one's 148 Stop calories. Stop it. Yeah. Like, I'm giving it a 10. Like, I feel like you cannot Okay, it. for that, duh, it's a 10. Yeah. But okay. I feel like, I mean, like, what would you actually give it then if it, if it was like regular same calories? I would give this one an eight and a half and I would give this one like an eight. Okay, I just that's like still this pretty close. I know, I really like both of yeah. them. I just like this one slightly more. Yeah, and taking that has chocolate chips, that doesn't. That is a must try, guys. I'm confused. Yeah. I'm very confused. The Annabelle at Kitchen's a confusing place. Yeah. So for dinner tonight, we are making something that I loved as a kid growing up. I always used to have it, but now I don't really have it that much anymore because it's super bad for you, very oily and just super high in fat, and that is some General Tao chicken. So Ross Quigley sent in an anabolic version of that. It looks delicious, he even sent me a picture. We're gonna have it with some cauliflower rice. 600 calories, and it looks pretty promising. I don't mean to insult anybody here, but I am not gonna use chopsticks for this meal because I wanna focus on the meat and not so much on my technique here. And it looks good. It looks very crispy. The cornstarch did its job here. Oh wow, that is delicious. It does taste like a P.F. Chang's with morals. It doesn't, it doesn't have that greasiness. This General Tao has me at full salute. So it comes to 492 calories. You're looking at 78 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. It's a big, it's a lot of volume of food, a lot of cauliflower rice. So it's 80 calories worth of cauliflower rice. I wanna give this an eight and a half out of 10. It's really, really solid. The cornstarch really makes you have that illusion that it's fried when it really isn't. So gonna enjoy this. And then after this, we just have one more thing. And that's one of my favorite desserts of all time, probably just behind donuts. All right guys, so for the nightcap, we are making one of my favorite desserts of all time, and that is carrot cake, a frosted carrot cake. Now, the last time I've had a frosted carrot cake, my girlfriend was role playing as Miss Frizzle. So we're gonna put that all together right now, and then we're gonna move on to the wet. Okay. 
Okay, so the dry mix is finished. Now it's time to move on to the wet. So what you're gonna need to do is crack one egg into the pan, slash the bowl, and then we're gonna add 100 grams of egg whites. There we go. And now we're gonna add half a cup of applesauce. Next up, what we're gonna add is a quarter of a cup of some Walden Farms. You guys think we make it through a whole day without having Walden Farms? I don't think so. And then we're gonna go in with a quarter of a cup of some cashew milk or any milk nut of your choice. And last but not least, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then we're just gonna mix this all up and then we are gonna add our dry into our wet. And then that is our batter. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees and we're gonna pop that in. Okay, so the cake is in, it's about like 10 minutes until it's finished. So now we're gonna work on the frosting. Very, very simple, only like four components here. So what we're gonna do is add half of a cup of Greek yogurt into the bowl here, which is 116 grams. Good, and now we're gonna do equal parts of a fat-free or low-fat cream cheese, which is also 116 grams. Good, now we're gonna go with a little bit of sweetener to taste. Good, and then for a nice freshness to it, a little bit of some lemon zest on top. And there you go. So now we're just gonna mix it together. I'm gonna put it in the fridge while the cake finishes up. And then once we take the cake, we're gonna let it sit and cool for a little bit and then spread this on top. Now I have run my fork and tongue through many cakes in my day. And this one certainly looks delicious. The smell in my kitchen, the smell of my whole entire house is absolutely divine right now. Take a look at that. It just looks amazing. And that cream cheese frosting just smells so cheesy, so let's do it. That is heavenly, you can't even get it on Sundays. Wow, that is good, man. So the calories of a slice will be on the screen right now. Honestly, I wanna give this I'm gonna give it a 10. I'm giving 10s all day long today. I am definitely gonna go upstairs and get another piece and then I'm gonna sit down here and try to come up with a winner. I feel like every single recipe today is worth making and I'm definitely gonna make every single recipe again today. Like they're all fantastic. It's gonna be, it's gonna come down to the wire guys. So I will check up with you guys very soon with my overall results. Okay, so I think I have come to my conclusion. So this one was close. It was literally neck to neck. I got my sister and I got my mom to try the two desserts. They had the brownie with the Diet Coke and the frosted carrot cake. And the winner of today's video is the frosted carrot cake. Seth Wiseman, you are the winner, my friend. I am gonna reach out to you directly on Instagram. Congratulations. Thank you everyone who participated. Thank you everybody who sent in your recipes. Every single recipe today, was absolutely slapped. Like I recommend all of you guys watching this video to try every single recipe. It will make dieting so easy for you. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.